Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Pisces. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Pisces. All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. So glad to have you. For you guys that are new to the channel, make sure that before you leave to hit that subscription button so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. All right, we do have our transformation card here. And like everything, everybody's evolving and transforming. And I am trying to do more readings on this channel. So if you want to book a reading with me, all my information is down there in that description box below. The Pisces, let's get real here. There is this transformation happening to you. And I feel like you're kind of ready to move beyond energies or situations that are no longer helpful to you and you know i feel like you're making space in your life for something more purposeful and so that's why these notions and these belief systems and these things that have been evolving with you have been really challenged and so you are getting a higher perspective on your life and that's why this transformation is taking place. Let's ask the angels what they think about it. Ascended masters, angels and guides, those who have crossed over record keepers, please guide me to the highest and best messages for the sign of Pisces. Please and thank you. Whoa, okay, all kinds of cards. All right, we'll pull these angel cards in just a moment. But first, we have the Three of Swords. Just wanted to remind you guys, um, you know, when we have any kind of swords, it's just this correction. You know, we have to go in and correct something or finalize something. And we have the Three of Swords. There's this, you know, lesson around love. And it's hard for us. It challenges us. It makes us kind of come to a place where we're like reevaluating what's important to us and what isn't and with the five of pentacles i kind of feel like you guys had a family that you were trying to take care of maybe you weren't in that partnership with that individual but you were still kind of paying the bills and still taking care of the ex and the child and so you know that's why this three of swords is like this heartbreak you know you wanted things to happen for the sake of the child have a happy family all of that but the ex wasn't participating in that. Now you're transforming into a different space. I think you've been planning for a couple years. I also think you've been thinking about somebody from the past. And with the Six of Pentacles, you know, you're counting your money and you're spending your money. And, you know, there's a lot of really victorious things that are happening here. We do have the Knight of Swords. It's like you're conquering every little obstacle that has been placed in your way. But there is a spiritual side of you that is lingering for somebody. We have the Two of Swords here. And, you know, this is that spiritual counterpart that you're missing so deeply. I feel like you have this telepathic energy that's kind of happening between you both. You kind of maybe snoop social media on each other or something like that and are always wondering what's ever happened to that person from the past. I feel like they were fruitful too. We got seven of pentacles. Like I said, there's been a couple of years where we've been making money and planning hard and doing everything, but we are wanting to go into the spiritual side of things. We have the ace of wands. Wants that transformation for you to be with your divine counterpart. Because you still love them. You want to be with them. But for some reason, you have this other situation here that you can't get rid of. Or maybe, like I said, you're still trying to do the right thing. How's that working for you, Pisces? 
or if it's vice versa for the other person you can kind of watch that go down with somebody else right there's pain here ten of swords this is feeling defeated maybe because you had to do that feeling that defeat because you couldn't love that person that you really wanted to love yeah look you guys have been held back nine of swords you're both loving each other we do have a moon in this card here with these swords and i think it's just two people thinking about each other from afar queen of pentacles you wondering where they're at or maybe you like made yourself like leveled up and they leveled up too and that's why that energy is kind of showing up again hangman remembering things from the past and wanting to have resolution and to understand things from a different perspective what went wrong what can we say about this stuff here pisces i'm sorry about that but look at this i think that person sees you as a page of swords that's why you haven't done anything about it but there's this transformation still going on here right we're still seeing this higher perspective coming in to show us where we went wrong with that situation i think that's where you're at yeah look at that seven of cups you're just going through the motions of all kinds of different stuff knight of pentacles is you know charging towards that success you know really moving in that direction and and applying action you know you're really wanting this person to change their mind about you queen of swords and i think this person's like uh -uh, i'm not getting with you ever again there was just too many things that happened in the past eight of pentacles you know and now the world you both are sitting on top of the pie and you know wanting to share that pie with each other but you're so far away let's get into my cards here that's what's hard about the situation pisces it's really hard look this is true love that's why because you know it's true love look you guys both have financial abundance you are you guys got it going on in your own worlds and that's why this has been so difficult for you pisces wanting to do the right thing for the ex it's cool but don't forget about yourself don't forget about the love that you could have for yourself maybe remember that love that you used to have with that person from a long time ago you'll never love me yeah that's why there's this block here pisces because i feel like you think this person is just going to be like no i'm done with the past maybe there was some scrutiny that happened i don't know whoever this resonates with pisces come on now we make mistakes we grow and we get better right but at this point you know i think you're just scared of that yeah quit lying to me they yeah i think you you kind of feel like they're not gonna believe you yeah and you'd love to take them on a little trip maybe a date or something like that but you're wanting them to come back in and i think you're really trying to manifest that at this time pisces so if you want to get a little bit more personal with this and dive a little bit more into this all my information is down there in that description box below on how to book a reading with me pisces and if you like the video make sure you give it a like share it and subscribe to the channel so that you will know when my new videos do come up i love you pisces everything's going to work out i do see you guys getting back together but you know maybe you guys have to make that happen for yourselves all right pisces namaste